What people don't understand about manufacturing is it's different from years ago. Uh, the skill level is different. The, uh, the environment is different. To me, manufacturing is worthwhile because I like making stuff. I like being able to say that I made that part over there. To see what it looks like to study manufacturing, we visited Rock Valley College. We also visited a manufacturer nearby, Clinkenbeard, where a team of students is working on a real-world manufacturing project. Uh, Rock Valley College is a two-year community college in Rockford, Illinois. A capstone project is a project that student teams um, engage in with company sponsors. It, uh, it gets them into a real work environment in a manufacturer, gets them on a project that has a real objective, um, and they're engaged with the company and trying to find solutions. Clink and Beard focuses on manufacturing from 3D models. We have various processes, so we can make castings, patterns, uh, machine those castings and patterns for them, machine from billet stock, make models, mock-ups, whatever the customer needs. The Clink and Beard capstone team is working on a quick change fixturing system. The problem was they were trying to set up a second shift and when first shift gets done, second shift would come in and take the fixture off the machine and set it aside. Well, first shift would come back in and have to set their fixture back on to finish up the job and it was taking a long time to set that fixture back up in the exact same spot. So what I'm looking at here, it is a fixture plate. Um, looks kind of simple, but it's key to saving that time that they were losing. Um, Eric, could you tell me a little bit about how does this figure into the solution? It's going to reduce the downtime. It's going to, when the worker comes in, just say for the second shift, after the first shift, instead of having to touch it off, wasting time, he can come in and know exactly where that fixture is going to, you know, going to be to take it off and put it back on. So talk to me about the work that went into getting to this solution. So we talked to the managers and the operators, so what they needed. In order to make good quality parts, you had to, measurements had to be precise and accurate. Tom, how is manufacturing changing? We're finding that manufacturers want a student to be able to, some of them want them to be able to design the part, um, create the tooling, um, be able to program the process and, and, and manage the, uh, the quality levels and work on teams to make all that happen. You're creating a problem solver. That's the goal. We rely heavily on skilled people. Our people are their own process engineers, their own manufacturing engineers, their own tooling engineers, their own programmers, and their own machinists. Our people take a project from the customer's conception all the way through to completion and delivering the product to them. The false view that people have in manufacturing is they picture it as a noisy assembly line. More recently, I think the misconception might be that there are still some easy jobs out there. There's a, a wealth of knowledge that you need to immerse yourselves in before you can be a high enough skilled employee for a company to really be of value. Some of the subjects which I learned about in school include uh, physics, electronics, uh, strength materials. Well, students come out of our program um, are usually going to have an opportunity to land in, in a job right away. Um, right now, we have more interest um, than we have students. So you've had students who never saw a machine like this one behind us, never saw how products are made, yet they get into your program and they discover they're thrilled by the possibilities. When you walk up to a machine and see it make something, when you walk into a foundry and see molten metal, that's energy and that's excitement. Most people don't ever get to see it. This country was built by manufacturing people and it will continue to be built and survive as a success because of manufacturing people. I mean, in the last 30 years, I've seen so much change. It's now nicely lit, it's clean, it's technology. Manufacturing is one of those careers where you actually get to see something made. 
It's one thing to sit in front of a computer and make a design, but to actually get out on the shop floor and manufacture the parts, see it go together, and later see it go down the road, fly in the sky, is just an excellent, rewarding feeling.